Hey everyone, how you doing? This is John McCaw and uh, today we're going to talk to you about a subject that has really uh, caused people to question themselves a little bit in doing what they want to do in their business. That subject is basically how to find content for your YouTube channel or your blog. Essentially, how do you find content for any of your social media that you are doing or providing for other people? So one of those things, and this is something that's really come up in my mind too as a marketer, because you know, we're, we're marketers, we're, we're human, we don't have the perfect plan set out all of the time, but you can plan for success rather than letting uh, the lack of plans cause you to fail, right? So in your searches, I'm going to go through some of these things a uh, little bit by little bit, give you some ideas. Maybe you've seen some of this stuff on YouTube. Maybe you haven't. Maybe that's why you're on this video. But uh, before we get into that, I want to make sure that you are getting these awesome videos put into your inbox. Go ahead and subscribe to this, to my channel, and then make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload a new video. I'm uploading videos every single day for the next 30 days. That started so Monday or Tuesday. So today is the 16th. So I would say from the 14th of August to the 14th of September minus Sundays because I do take a day off. You're going to get a video per day from me. So go ahead and subscribe. I look forward to seeing everyone subscribe here. I know it's not going to happen, but I'm going to tell you, everyone has to subscribe. So <laughs> let's get into the information that we want to talk to you about. And that's finding content for bloggers, for vloggers, for social media content that you want to provide for people so that you can be more attractive in social media and get more sales essentially, right? So the first place that I would look, especially for those who are bloggers, is a place that um, provides a lot of traffic, honestly. Look at this, YouTube. And all you have to do is go in here and type in Stuff like, you can see what I've recently typed in. Building your brand for social media. Building your brand. Best WordPress social share plugin. Uh, start a blog for beginners. Start a blog. So I, I do have a blog post that's all about starting a blog. I was looking to see what my competition was and how they strategized to get to the top of the Pinterest SEO page. So... Because once you get to the top of the SEO for Pinterest, you're going to get a lot of traffic, a ton of traffic. And so that's what I was doing. So you can go through and you can find uh, ways to find content. And you're going to get a bunch of stuff here. So you see what I mean? You're, they're going to have some boards that you're going to go to and like, okay, how to create content for Instagram. If you're big into Instagram, who isn't right now, right? Uh, you'll find uh, ways to get your toddler to stop listening. That's not what we're looking for on this video. But you get the idea. Go through, through um, Pinterest and find this. Pinterest is just a big, huge Im image search engine full of blog posts and it's very informative it's kind of like the text version of YouTube and I mean text by you click on the on the image I'll show you uh, blog brainstorm let's do this one and you click on the image, then you go right to the blog, and it tells you exactly on the blog how to do what you were just promised to do. So this person just got traffic, free traffic from me because I was on YouTube, or not YouTube, but Pinterest, and went over to see their blog post about Blog Brainstorm, 20 Ways to Find Your Best Content. Great stuff, isn't it? Okay, next thing that we want to cover is Twitter. Now, Twitter is a good place for traffic as well. But Twitter is going to 
uh, you've got to search it and see find content and it'll give you some hopefully it'll find you some more blog posts or a LinkedIn profile about how to find content Twitter's probably not the best place to get this information especially when I don't spell it right content there you go where's my pop filter I needed my pop filter on here I'll find it those of you who are con uh, content creators and are using uh, microphones just like this hold on this is a squirrel moment I need to, to do a little uh, PSA right now so if you ever notice when you're doing your you're talking into your microphone and you push your P's and talk to your T's did you hear the difference there so if you do a, do a pop filter it's gonna lessen all of that it's not gonna let the air go through here and cause bad audio Okay, I'm done with my squirrel moment. That's the advertisement for today. <laughs> uh, so we covered Pinterest. We covered Twitter. Here's another great place to get something. And you're on it right now. And that's probably why you found it. There we go. How to find new content ideas. You're going to find this all over the place. You actually are finding it right now anyways because you found my video. But I'm telling you, go to YouTube. They have everything under the sun. Go to Twitter. You may find some stuff there. Go to Pinterest, especially if you're a blogger. You'll find a ton of content ideas there on Pinterest. Next, you know, along the same lines as YouTube, there are other video places that you can go to. This one I like. It's called Vimeo. It is uh, you get a free plan. You've got um, you can basically pay them to store your videos. And when you're tired of getting flagged and losing your videos on YouTube, you can go to video Vimeo. Uh, you can also go to some other video places. Um, I won't tell you about them today. Today in today's video. So Vimeo is another great place, and you would search for things just like you would in YouTube and you'll find some good content there it's not it's not stuff that really comes up much in Google search because guess what Google owns YouTube they're gonna favor their own video content over Vimeo unless it's like highly SEO uh, engineered and Vimeo hits the, the n number one mark for some reason Google's still going to try to find ways to make YouTube be the one that hits their search engine first page. Okay, and next. You can always join groups on Facebook. And when you are in these groups, say you're in a group that is all about blogging. And you noticed there's some of my blogs right there. And what do you know? You can find content anywhere you want to look on social media. That's my point right here. But, you know, going to the groups, you're going to go into the group and you're going to ask questions. You're going to find, um, let's see if we can go find content. Content writers. There's another great idea to go to. Now, I'm sure there's some other off-the-wall places that you can go to find content, but my question about finding those off-the-wall places is, is it relevant for the time? If it's not relevant for the time, you're not going to want to have to engage in all of that and create the content to really find out that, hey, this was a waste of time because nobody cares. You want to go where everyone else is going because that's where they're asking the questions. When they ask the right questions, you get the right answers. They're going to love you. That's the whole point. We want them to love you. We want them to say, hey, uh, John and Jessica are the great, greatest in what they do because they give the best answers and they provide solutions. That's what we love. Uh, one thing I'm currently listening to is a uh, book. Sorry, another squirrel moment. 
a book about how to tell your story. Now, it can, on the outset, outside of things, it can sound a little boring, but as I was listening to this book, it got more and more interesting, and um, I'm really loving it. And this is something I will listen to on the way to work, on the way home from work, and I get a lot of value. My only beef with me listening to it in the car while I'm driving is I'm not able to take notes. I can mark bookmark things, and I probably should do that, but and then go back and write things down when it, with the bookmark stuff and uh, get more value out of it. But, you know, the thing is, I've, I've ordered the book. I own the book on Audible, and I can go back to it anytime I want. But uh, the book that I'm, I'm reading is oh, it's How to Tell Your Story. And I'm not sure who the, the author is, but I will leave a link to it in the show notes. Or on YouTube, it's called The Description. Uh, so lastly here, we've got one more place that you can look. And this is a place that I know I've seen marketers go to and provide answers and get all of the content ideas that they want. And yeah, I'll, I'll let it go for now. So Quora is a great place. You ask a question and guess what? They are ready and willing to answer your question and guess what they will also do they'll leave you a link to a blog post or something like that and this is a great place to get exposure for your blog or your videos on YouTube if you're looking for traffic boy I'm just loaded with little tips and tidbits here tonight aren't I <laughs> so that is uh, five six I'm gonna say I'm gonna gi I'm giving you five with a bonus and that bonus is Quora. Quora is a great place to go for finding content. So if you've ever decided, hey, I don't have anything to put out today, you can't give that excuse anymore because you've, you've taken notes and you've wrote, written down all these social media outlets that you can get information from to turn around and create your own content from you don't want to copy you want to model that's another tip here don't copy model that's what you need to do because you want to put your own personality into things and if you're you're not putting your own personality into things people are going to notice they're going to say well i saw that kind of stuff over at ray higdon or, or any other big marketer oh here's another tip for you uh if you go to People in your niche that are like really big and have a huge following, guess what they're going to be doing every day or pretty much a lot of the days during the week. They're going to be providing value to those who they want to see succeed. So like people like Ray Higdon in the marketing space, Eric Warre, also in the home business space, um, Tony Robbins, go to their pages on Facebook, go to their pages on, on Twitter, go to their page on uh, LinkedIn or yeah, LinkedIn because um, Gary Vaynerchuk, he does a lot on, on LinkedIn. You could find information or titles or uh, in the videos, listen to them, get some notes, and then you can turn around and do your own video about what they just said. And tell me, I'll tell you what, it works because you're going out, you're getting the information that other people are not really, I mean, think about this. People are lazy by nature, right? So why not go out and get the information in a condensed version? Do your own video. Do your own blog and and or blog and put a video in there. And the next thing you know, you've got some great content that you can share with your friends. They're going to love you for it because you went out and got the information and summarized it in your own words. Put your own personality into it. That's going to be huge. And it'll help you a lot in getting content as well. That's what I did when I first started vi doing videos. I used to go over to Eric Warre and see what he's putting out every single day. And I'd re I would uh, listen to it a few times so that I had it in my head. And then I made some notes. And then I put it in my own words. And I made a live video. I was doing live videos for some reason on Facebook. It was, it was apparently a thing then. I don't know. It's I think it still is. Maybe it's an Instagram thing now too. Uh... Anyways, that is your bonus bonus tip, and I'm going to 
go ahead and say, I hope that this helped you. If it did, go ahead and like the video. Thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. So remember to subscribe to my video and not only the video, but my channel. And I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Have a wonderful day.